uh, Peace Consciousness Month at uh, nakasabay doon sa ating pag-celebrate ay uh, yung, uh, uh, yung pagdeklara ng Palawan Island na insurgency free. All right, so yun lang naman with it, but uh, I thought I, I thought it would be a good opportunity para na ulit uh, ay, ibalik natin sa ating pag-iisip na patuloy pa rin ang proseso ng uh, ng pag uh, hanap ng kapayapaan para sa lahat ng komunidad ng Pilipinas. Ngunit eh mari rin na makapag-celebrate tayo dahil nakita naman natin may progreso naman gumaganda naman ang sitwasyon so uh, thank you so i'll uh, open the floor thank you mr president from celeste ana formoso of palawan news good morning sir i just want to ask in terms of um palawan po this is an island province and uh, in terms of sustaining this insurgency free status para ho hindi tayo bumalik doon sa insurgency sa Palawan. Uh, do you have any specific or um, guidelines or orders for the local government officials here uh, just to maintain yung nasus na gain po natin? Your, your local government officials have many, many plans already na talagang mat matagal nang gustong gawin. Ngunit eh, yung ibang lugar, hindi nila magawa dahil nga may gulo pa ng kaunti. But now that we are able to declare, because even if there is only, al alam naman natin, Palawan is very tourist sensitive. At uh, alam naman natin, sasabihin nila, uh, may nangyari sa hulo. Sabit ang uh, paba, ano ah, ang gustong turista ang pupunta rito? Dahil nga, uh, sasabihin, magulo sa Pilipinas, huwag na tayo doon, doon tayo sa ibang lugar. And that is that is the problem that is the problem that we are slowly solving now, because unless you have a peaceful uh, community, unless you have uh, security in the area, ang hirap talaga makaattract ng investment. And so now that we are able to to wave that flag, sabi natin no, Palawan is free, then they can Palawan has or is already a very large part of all our plans for transformation of the economy. Tourism plays a very, very large part in that, and Palawan plays a very, very large part in Philippine tourism. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you. Mr. President. Joseph Morong, GMA7. Sir, good morning. How are you? Hey, hello. Good morning. Sir, in 1978, no, your father issued the uh, PD-1596 that uh, created the municipality oh, of Kalayaan yes. oh, yes. and Pagasa sa Barangay. That now stands as a solid symbol of our claim to the WPS. Mm -hmm. In your terms, sir, as president, are you contemplating any action with regard to areas that we occupy and exercise jurisdiction over to have something similar to PD 1596 that will have a far-reaching far -reaching and intergenerational yes. impact? Well, that that uh, that uh, occurred in uh, '70 because we were already looking at our claims. We were already uh, discussing this with the United Nations, uh, and uh, this is uh, we were part of a group of I think three countries that established the archipelagic principle uh, of uh, uh, baselines uh, and your EEZ, and we just remain consistent to that. Hindi naman nagbabago. Uh, siguro yung pag-establish ng municipality uh, sa na pag-asa, it was special. was to be to be able to uh, make sure to establish to show that this is uh, part of the Philippines. Now, we of course will continue to defend our territorial sovereignty, our our territorial rights. We have not changed our our approach. It is other countries around us that have changed their approach. Uh, now, once again, now we uh, are we are received the news that uh, now the nine dash line has been extended to the ten dash line, mm -hmm. and so these are the we have to respond to all of these, and we will. Uh, but uh, again, these are operational details that it, uh, I would prefer not to talk about. In terms of strategy, sir, are we up upscaling our response? <laughs> What we have, we I I think for the international because we because we have um, stayed true to the rules-based uh, international law, especially uh, the UNCLOS 
Uh, and that's, uh, that, I think, uh, puts us on very solid ground in terms of our claims for territorial sovereignty, for territor maritime territory. Mm -hmm. And it, this has been uh, validated and supported uh, by many, many countries around the world. And uh, we think we should take strength in that. And I believe that uh, uh, that, that, again, is a very big help to the Philippines in continuing to defend our uh, maritime uh, borders. Thank you. For Thank, you. Thank you, sir. Alan Francisco, PTV4. Hi, Mr. President. Magandang Hello. umaga po. Good morning. Sir, my question is about the price ceiling of rice. Yeah. Um, how would you make sure or ensure that the implementation of the price ceiling EO of yeah. rice? We, we, have a, uh, we have put together a structure um, for the continuing monitoring. Uh, this will include uh, essentially, the lead agencies on this are the uh, DILG, uh, will DA, DTI, uh, DOJ as well. Um, more or less, that will be those are the, uh, the agencies that will be, because all of those agencies already have um, uh, regular inspections when it comes to uh, other issues. So they will now apply the price ceilings that I have uh, ordered in the EO that I signed yesterday. Um, so that to make sh yeah, to make sure the the prices stay uh, within the limits that we have prescribed. Now the the main the real problem is in in NCR. It's not so bad outside of Manila, Metro Manila. Um, that's why maybe we will be focusing our our efforts in Metro Manila. But I mean, if we, if, if it comes to that, I would I would I would encourage anyone who finds that uh, someone or a retailer is selling at above the price ceiling, i-report po ninyo. I-report ninyo sa police, i-report ninyo sa, sa DA, dun sa lugar ninyo, i-report ninyo sa local government para matignan po namin at tiyakin na hindi lalampas doon sa ating presyo na linagay na 40 pesos at 44 pesos. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. You, Thank you, Malacanang Press Corps. Thank okay. you, sir. Maraming salamat. Thank you.